Hey, it's Wabbit. I'm going to do my best to keep this a short, talky video, but if this is not your thing, feel free to click away. Um, let me jump right into it and first give a little background to further explain and I give, give a little bit more strength to this thank you video. I was an, a registered nurse for about 14 years in the ER and got burned out. I always grew up with computers, had a fascination, a love for that. And I transitioned into what was called healthcare IT. I was basically a consultant who would travel around the country, uh, implement what were called electronic medical record systems or EMRs in hospitals. And I was that liaison between the clinician and the developer. And it was my first experience just kind of seeing how the clinician would want this thing to do or this to work or why isn't this working? When is this update going to come? versus the developer who there were only so much they could do. And the, the dev did not have the clinical knowledge. The clinician didn't have the dev knowledge. And I was that person to kind of help sort of mend the fences, so to speak, make things, you know, educate, whatever you want to call it. Currently, my role is working as a project manager in the IT health space. And I see a lot of similar things. We have a customer, we have a developer, we're kind of that liaison. Um, but the customer, in, in this particular case, we've got to really meet a lot of requirements and needs and things of that sort. Now, in this space, in this music iOS space in particular, I'm seeing pretty much the same things play out. And whether it's audio bus form, whether it's Reddit, Discord, Facebook, it's the same kind of thing. There are now users who are basically the clinicians or the customer who are wanting this, wanting that. When is this update going to come out? When's this enhancement? Why doesn't it have this? Why doesn't it have that? And then you have the developers who are still coding. Yet, I feel like it's a thankless job. And I felt that way when I was a consultant and even in my current role. I, I get what they're going through. I've dabbled in doing some self-teaching of coding. So I understand enough to be dangerous. I'm not going to act like I'm a pro in that particular space of front-end and back-end development. And then I think about what these devs are doing, especially for someone like me, what they're providing me. I am not someone that knows how to play a guitar, a piano. I've tried and I failed. I am not someone that knows musical theory. I've tried and I fail. And these devs give me applications that, I can make music with and I will be forever grateful now there are those who thank developers in the comment section yet we have that one person that will complain and then it just snowballs people feed off negative energy for some reason which I will never understand that part of the human psyche and I just want to say thank you I I don't literally get what you're going through because I don't know your exact situation. I've just heard stories. Whether you do this as a passion, it's a hobby, a side gig, and, and maybe there's some of you who do it as a full-time job. But I think we as the user, we really need to keep in mind that just like we need to do things to keep a roof over our head and food in our stomach, so do the, so do the, the, the devs. The devs got to eat. <laughs> And it just frustrates me when I see a, an app released and literally like 30 seconds later, when is this coming? This happens every single time. I don't even need to give you an example. You, if you're in this space, you see it or you say it. So I'm going to wrap this up. And to the devs out there who make iOS music apps, with all the things you have to deal with, whether it's Apple and the stuff you have to go through that I have no idea, or all the customer comments, thank you. And to my fellow users, look, I complain just like you do. I, I'm not someone standing up on a pedestal like I'm better than anybody. Let's just take time to enjoy what we have. Try this on for size next time. An app comes out and you're wanting to try it, give it a week. Play with it. 
jot down some notes. If something's not working right, jot that down. If you see something you would like, jot that down. But give it some time. Give the devs a time to sit back and enjoy a beverage or get some sun on their face because burnout is real. And I think we just need to hear this reminder from time to time because this is going to happen again and again. If you don't believe me, go into the comment sections and, and take a peek. That's it. I thank you for watching if you made it this far. Please be safe out there. Keep your head on a swivel. And until next time, Sissy Hodo.